Good, Good morning. morning from the desert. It's 6.15 and we're about to go watch the sunrise. we get to go on camel so it's not all that bad <laughs> We just got back from our morning camel ride and it's now time to get back on the van. After being on the bus for five hours, we're now stopping for lunch. The food was absolutely lovely, but unfortunately, we got swarmed by bees, so maybe not the most enjoyable thing. But still, onwards and upwards.
our room. Uh, we initially built a double room, uh, but we actually got upgraded to a suite supérieure, and this is what it looks like. So, first off, massive 12 poster bed, which is very plush indeed. And then if we have a look here, we've got a couch and a coffee table. We've also got a couple of other modern ponds, including a little mini fridge right here. And then on top of that, TV. You can get a little safe in here as well, which is not something we've seen in the other accommodations yet. And then a little wardrobe space, just in case we need to use that. On top of that, we've also got extra comfy slippers, complimentary. And then we come in to the bathroom. And we have those bathrobes, our towels already laid out. Toilet looks amazing, and then you have what looks like a brass sink, which looks awesome. Everything in here, but that's not even the best bit, because then, when you come into the shower, then, first of all, glass door, lovely. And then look how much room we get. Big rainfall shower as well. So much space. Amazing. We're spending four nights here and they're probably going to be the best four nights of the trip so far. We're very sad to have finished our desert trip, but the experience was absolutely incredible and words really can't describe it. Other than the highlight, which was clearly the camel ride and seeing the Sahara, the friends that we made on this trip were amazing. Like part of the reason that I love traveling is because you get to meet these people who have really interesting life stories and backgrounds, and they also have traveled the world and have great tips and tricks that you can take forward. And we were really lucky to have met three especially lovely people, Mirka, Gino, and Sylvain. So, I mean, the whole trip was obviously worthwhile, and we will link the uh, website for the tour group that we use because we highly recommend it. Yeah, but the there is a couple of things that you just need to consider when booking a tour through these people, as well as a number of kind of other tours and things, because something that we've found is that there can be a number of hidden costs and because not everything is included. So it's best just to be prepared for a couple of things. So number one, lunches on this particular tour are not included. Generally speaking, you get taken to a specific restaurant um, where they have kind of a prefix menu, which is 100 dirham per person. Um, and then on top of that, you then end up having to pay for drinks, which are usually somewhere between 10 and 15 dirham each. So definitely be provision for that. The other thing is that as part of the desert trek on the camels, uh, then the expectation is that you do need to purchase a turban and so what they did with us is they put us all through the same shop and you could have a synthetic one which wasn't color fast which was 20 dirham you could have like a cotton synthetic mix which we ended up getting which was 80 or you could get a pure cotton one which was 120 dirham so if you want to save on money and you already have something in mind then uh, feel free to get that before you even start and then on top of that, there is a lot of driving, but along the way, there's also a lot of stops. Um, everywhere serves pretty much the same kind of thing, coffee, orange juice, water, soft drinks, cookies, whatever. But if you want to get ahead of things and save a little bit of extra money, then obviously you can bring all of those yourself ahead of time. And you also need to prepare to tip um, some of the tour guides along the way as well. I and I think that's about it. We just went out to get a quick dinner of sandwiches. Nick got ground beef and chicken in his panini with fries, and I just got ground beef. And all of that came to just 75 dirham, so a very cheap dinner indeed. So we're eating in here tonight just because we're absolutely knackered, mm -hmm. and we have big plans for Morocco, or actually I should say Marrakesh, indeed. over the next three days. Yeah, we're basically going to have this, and then we're going to turn over the night yeah, until tomorrow, take care. And keep smiling.